What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to create an email marketing campaign for your business or product on Klaviyo.com. So Klaviyo.com is a platform where you can create powerful marketing campaigns with email or SMS for your business. It's very easy to use with lots of features. So let's get right to it. First, you'll need to open the Klaviyo website. That's Klaviyo.com on your computer. And as you can see here, you have the option to sign up to create a free account. So if I click on sign up, you can see here, it'll ask me the normal information for any website or service that I want to sign up to, like my email, create a new password, your company name, your company website, your phone number, and how will you use Klaviyo? So for your own business or for clients. And of course, you'll need to confirm all this and then create a new account after you confirm that you are not a robot. So you go ahead and fill in all these informations. I've already done so after you complete this page, it'll ask you like a couple of questions like the uh, business type and how you will use and your clients and so on. And you will be finally asked to confirm your email before using Klaviyo. So I've gone and done all this. And this is the home page for my Klaviyo account that I created. Here you can see on the left here, you have a tab for your home where you can have all your statistics, numbers, and so on. You can create new campaigns or view your campaigns through the campaigns option here. You also have flows. You can create sign up forms. You have the audience content analytics and conversations in order to receive your own emails on your inbox here. Now, as I told you in the beginning, in Klaviyo, you can create email marketing campaigns or SMS marketing campaigns, which is so cool. However, in this video, we will focus on the email marketing campaigns and how to do so. So in order to create a new marketing campaign, we have to go to the campaigns option here from the options on the left. Then from here, we want to go to create campaign. So we want to click on create campaign to create our new campaign. You can enter a campaign name. So let's name it, for example, my new campaign. Okay, so we can select a date here. And here is the option we can select if you want it to be an email campaign or SMS campaign. So we will keep it an email campaign as it is. And here you can add tags if you want to. So that looks fine for now. Let's go ahead and click on save and continue. Now it'll open a new page for the campaign information. As you can see here, the name we entered my new campaign. You can, as I told you, add tags or create new tags to further organize your campaigns. And now you can choose the recipients. So you can choose like a list of recipients. So let's choose, for example, like new subscribers, newsletters. You can choose as many as you want to. And also you have the option to select a don't send to list. So if you have a list of people that you do not want to send your campaign to, you can choose them from here. So let's choose engage 30 days. For example, I don't want to send this email campaign to them. And then the tracking option, you can include tracking parameters. And finally, we can continue to content here. Now it'll open the editors page where you can edit your campaign details and design. For the subject line, let's type in our awesome product. If you are creating a campaign for a certain product, or if it's a service that you are offering, you can type in the service name or whatever. The preview text, so let's say new product. Here you enter the sender name, so you write in your company name and here your email address. Now we want to go to the editor. So to edit our campaign or our email itself, the most popular and probably the easiest way is to use a drag and drop based editor. So let's click on drag and drop here. Here you have many templates that you can choose from for your email design for your campaign. And if you have like saved templates that you have saved that you have viewed in the past, you can click on save templates. And you also have the option to create a new blank email from scratch. However, I find it easier to use a template that's already available. So let's say I like this one, this template. 
So let's click on it. It'll open the editor where you can edit the elements. And here you can notice you have a desktop and mobile options. So you can view how your email will look on the desktop browser or on the phone. So here, that's the phone version. And that's the desktop version. If everything looks good, so on the desktop or the mobile and you like this template and you want to use it, simply scroll down here and click on use template. The editor page is now opened and you can add and edit all the elements or blocks on the template that you chose. So for example, here you have the logo place. So if we click on the header bar here, that's the element at the top where you had the logo and these text here. So you can choose a logo. You can first choose the inline, like the design. So the logo in the middle and then the text below it or the logo and the text at the right and so on. And you can also edit or replace the logo or remove it. So let's replace it and add our own logo. You can add from the image library on the website. If you have an image library, you can upload an image from your computer. You can also import an image URL and dynamic image or product catalog. So for now, we'll just leave it as it is. Now we can also edit the text. These are supposed to be links, clickable links. So the client can click on them to open pages on your website. So if we close down the layout, you can open the content here, you have four links for the shop and about new and contact. The first link that says shop, let's rename it to products or product list. Here you can enter the URL for the products on your website so that the clients, when he clicks on the product list link, he'll open the web page for your products on your website. You can also change the background, add a background here and change the color. You can drop shadow and change the shadow color and so on. And then you can also edit the four links here. So let's edit the about. Let's rename it contact us, for example, if you want them to contact you directly. And you will enter the URL for your contact information on your website. You can also change the background or add a background or and a shadow. So you get the point. Okay, you also can add a link or add an image as a background here. So if we choose the main body with the text here, look what's back in stock. You can change the text. So let's enter products. As you can see, the changes are made in real time and they are also applied on desktop and the mobile version as well. So that's pretty cool. And if we click on the image, the pot with the plants here, we can also remove it or replace it with our own image and edit it. You can also change the position of the image and so on. So as you can see here, you can edit pretty much everything here from the color to the text, to the text color, to the text font. If we choose this one, for example, you can edit the color, the text, the font, the size, the alignment and anything. This button here that says stock up, you can change the text to like shop. We can also change the color here. So okay, change the font of the text, change the size and the text color as well. Now that you made all your edits and you are happy with the result, let's say you want to add an element. So let's tap on done here to get back to the main editor. Let's add a text block here. So we'll drag and drop the text. Let's drop it here at the top. So that's the new text block. You can enter the text that you want. So let's say title, any title. We can change the font. We can change the size of the text. Okay, that's pretty small. We want to make it bigger. So let's 22. That's better. Let's make it italic, bold. And if we scroll down, we can even edit the background color or add a color. Let's make it red. We can also edit the text color itself. So let's make the title blue and keep the background red as it is. 
And if we want to add a new block or new elements, simply click done when you are done editing this block or this element. And you can add images, split, drop shadow, you can add, add a header bar, you can add buttons, and so on. Once you are happy with all the edits that you did, you can simply click on preview and test here. Now you can preview your email here with the design on the desktop or the mobile. And you can view also the information like your email and everything. And once you're happy, just click done. And then click on save here at the top right and your email campaign will be saved on Klaviyo.